Imagine if we can actually complete it. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> Only four to go. That was really fishy. Look at the size of this bad boy. It's certainly not mine. That is beautiful. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are here today at our second Ramadan Bazaar to see if we can find the rest of the foods that we couldn't find last time and get a full house on our bingo cards. So it's round two, we're at section four in Kotazam and Sara. We're back to try and complete the rest of the list, as Emma said. We've got this many left at the minute. We're looking to complete the other half because we managed to get half last time when we visited TTDI. And if you haven't seen that video already, go give it a watch. When we put our last video up, so many of you said that you wanted to see another video. So that's why we've come back today. Thank you to everybody who watched that video and liked and commented. We really appreciate the support. Everyone who wanted us to do another one, here we are. Oh, I feel like I just want to get more. Should we get it on the way out? Because then it will still be cold. It'll be nice and cold, yeah, that's true. Okay. Roti John. Oh, yes. I feel like we've had Roti John before. Have we had Roti John before? Yes. When we were in Epo, I had Roti John. I feel like I tried some of it though. Yeah, so you had a little bit. And the Roti John there, in all honesty, I wasn't the biggest fan of. I'm a bit apprehensive about getting this one, but hopefully it's going to be a good one. They've got the Biasa, which is what we're going to go for, and that comes with Ayam. They've also got a crispy Ayam one, which looks amazing. I think we'll just go Ayam Biasa. John Biasa. Oh, it's nice and warm. This thing is giant. Whoa, <laughs> I think yeah. It. I feel like that's going to be our dinner sorted as it is. So that's I am Galek, but we need I am Baka. Okay. Oh, is it? I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. Is it Karabu? I think it's Karabu. Karabu? Um, just a little. Uh, um, can we get thigh? Yes, yeah, thigh. Oh, this looks like it's got a lot to it. Never even heard of this before, but you can see on the picture that there's loads of different bits to it, and she's um, packaged it all up, and yeah, it looks like there's loads of different bits, so excited to try this. So, right next door to the Karabu is the Ratu Kebab, which looks the same as the picture on the list. And if it's not, you're just going to have to deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get the one of the kebab? Can we get beef? Yeah, again, we're doing really well already. Yeah, but I'm worried because. A lot of these things are a lot heavier than they were. Yeah, I feel like they're going to be some big meals, but at least we'll have more leftovers. Yes. Oh, there's so much stuff that we got last time. I'm really, really wanting again, like you can see Onde Onde. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at those chunky pizzas. Inflated. Yeah, they look mental. Mm. They're only like two ringgit fifty for a slice. That's not bad. I'm pretty impressed with that because usually pizza is so expensive here. Oh, the donuts are back. Donutella. Oh, they look so good. Oh, Donutella, I guess. Donuts and Nutella. That's well a done. real one. Is actually a bit busier than we thought it would be. We thought that those stalls were the main ones, but there's actually a bunch all the way down there. I think we found the Otak Otak. For anyone who was very keen-eyed in the last video, noticed the Otak Otak fall off the stall. And we got a few comments, which was quite funny. It was yeah. like the bit that people kept noticing. We should have seen it last time, really, considering that happened, but we found it now. Do you recommend? Oh. I've never had those. Have to try it all. Have to try it all. So we've got one fish, 
one I am and another fish with coconut. Just get one of each. Otak, otak acquired. It's got a bit of a unique smell to it, but we've also been told before you have to have a bit of an acquired taste for otak otak, so who knows what it's going to be like. But you never know, we might be on to another favourite. All right, so what do we have left now? I am baka, kambing baka, roti jala, and bua perma, which I think is like those date things. I could be wrong. Oh, they look amazing, don't they? Right, we think we found the canby, which we've now figured out is lamb or mutton. We're going to get a couple of sticks of this. It's been a fire. Right, another one off the list. Only four to go. Four? I thought we'd almost completed it. Let's keep going. Four. I spot Roti Jala. Okay, so roti jala is something we've never had before as well. It's the chicken curry. Very thick. Oh, nice. Yeah. What's the roti jala made out of? Uh, flour. Flour? Yeah. Is it like normal roti? No, it's like pancake. Like pancake? Yeah, like pancake. Oh, it's nice. Pancake. Okay, cool. It looks like pancake. It looks like pancake. It's not like pancake, it? but yeah. it's like netting. We call it jala means net. 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 Ah, oh, like jala. Net. Can we get one set? Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you, Oh, I'm excited for this. This looks really good. Good spot. We're trying to find all these items. Oh, this one, you need to go to the shop. Oh. They usually uh, sell on shop. Oh, like, like, okay. This building, you can find a grocery store. Right. Have one, yeah. Oh, Come perfect. On. Have a good day. Do you have ayam baka? Yeah. Ayam baka? Oh, you got your can. Is it ayam baka? Oh, is that ayam baka? Oh, in ocean, ocean. Oh, in ocean. <laughs> these just look like satay sticks again. I don't know whether they've got different seasoning or what. Okay, so does that leave us with just one item there? It does. Wakerma, which I think is the date, and that guy said that we can get them in a shop. Oh my goodness, imagine if we can actually complete it. If we complete this, I'm going to be well happy. Yeah. I'm kind of glad that we're nearing the end because once again it is incredibly hot and the reason why I've not showed you any of my lower half is because the sweat marks are starting to appear. I'm going to be glad when we get back home. So we found the Passamini which we're hoping has the dates in them. Oh yeah look, right there. Is it definitely them? I mean they're dates. So we've got these to confirm that they are the right thing. In all honesty, I've had dates before and I'm not the biggest fan. I don't think I've ever eaten a date in my life, so it'll be a first for me. And if we don't like them, we can just put them in the smoothies. Well, we've done it. We've completed food bingo. Yeah, I'm a bit upset that there was no specific stall selling the Bois Yeah. Like at the same time, I'm At happy. least we've got it. I think to celebrate, we should be allowed to get some tepung palita. That's a good celebratory item in my eyes. This one is a mango? Can we get uh, one, two and one? Be done, hasn't it? <laughs> Hello, can I get uh, one? Wait. Yeah. Hey, Makati. And then we're going to head home and unpack all this food and have a feast. We'll see you there. Okay, home again. Another feast on our hands. I feel like this time round. There's not as many sweet stuff, which we yeah. both have a massive sweet tooth. It also looks really, really heavy. So I think it's going to be a bit of a struggle to get through it all. So yeah, I definitely think we're going to have leftovers for tomorrow. Right, this is staring at me. So this is Ayam Baka, but we got it in like satay form. So it was getting to the point nearing the end where, as I said, there was a lot of it. And it did have the option of getting a quarter of a chicken or whatever, but we just don't need that much food at the minute. We've gone for just a few kind of like satay skewers of Ayam Baka. 
it does look similar to satay. However, it does look like there's a redness to it. So it looks almost as if it's potentially been marinated. And then we've got this sauce. He said that was chilli sauce. Oh, okay. Maybe I won't be dipping too much of that in then. Yes. Oh, wow, that is good. It's not like satay because obviously satay is really peaty. Yeah, it's just like really nicely barbecued chicken. Yeah, I was going to say, there's definitely some sort of glaze on it, mm. which adds like a slight sweetness. That was really, really good. Whatever they had like glazed on it was perfection. Mm. So I don't know what that is. And whether that's what all lion back covers like, or whether that's just their like glaze. I think we need to get it again because I feel like in the picture it had like a really big chunk of chicken yeah and we don't need a big chunk of chicken today but I would love to like get a big chunk of it, it would, I'm sure mm. it'd be really nice and that chilli sauce was like really spicy it's got loads of flavour and it's really really good I want to kind of keep that just in case we can put it on something else yeah lots of leftovers there so I'm sure we can reuse that skewered all right then, next up on the list. Oh, it's leaked a bit. Oh, it looks very hot. So yeah. this is the kebab. So, so this is beef, isn't it? Because we've got chicken quite a lot, I thought we'd switch it up with a bit of beef. So it's a beef kebab. You can see it's like absolutely laden in sauce. I think this is going to be a bit of a messy one to eat. Oh, you can't eat a kebab with forks. Oh. Mmm, it's like minced beef. Yeah, you straight away get the sweetness of like the chilli sauce. It's actually packed with beef in here. It's actually not too spicy. No. Even though it's covered in chilli sauce. Right, we're going to leave that there because I feel like we've still got so much more to try. So we can finish that another time. That was nice, but it wasn't like outstanding. It was still a solid like 7 out of 10, I would say. Next up, I think we're going to go for the Otak Otak. This is probably the thing that I'm the most wary of. <laughs> I think. I'm not the biggest fan of like fish paste, oh. so... It's not what I imagined was going to be in here. What did you think? I don't know really. I just love the way it's like packaged up with these little skewers. So she gave us three different types. Fish, chicken and another fish one. This smells really good. Does it? So the inside almost looks like a sort of curry... That's what it tastes like. Oh, I was going to say it looks like it's almost like a, like a curry paste. Oh, it's quite, it's quite hot. It's like curried i can't really think what the consistency is like, like a fish ball oh yeah maybe the curry taste is really nice it's mm. just a little bit too spicy for me no yeah, no it's quite nice actually oh this is a different color oh that looks mank i'm not gonna lie oh that was really fishy no oh, no it looks like the color of a pond oh it's very fishy i don't know what fish they but i'm not very good at knowing what different fish taste like it's all right though. It's mm. not my favourite. I prefer... Oh, have you eaten the rest of that? Yeah. <laughs> I prefer mm. the other one. Yeah, it's almost maybe like sardines or something. Definitely look, tastes better than it looks. Oh. Oh, that's bright red. <laughs> yeah, this must be fish as well, which means the first one was obviously the chicken. chicken one. It doesn't smell as fishy as that one did. This is a really weird consistency. Oh. It is fishy. It's not as fishy as the other one. Oh. It hasn't got like a really strong flavour. That's not bad actually. What would be like a red fish? Oh, don't forget, isn't it like sardines in tomato juice or something? So maybe it's got tomato juice. Like what's making it red? That's the bit I'm confused about. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure everyone in the comments will be able to tell us. Let us know why this is red because we have no idea. I don't know. I think I actually prefer the taste of the other one to this. So next up, we've got the Hambing Bakar, which is lamb or mutton. I'm intrigued about it. What does what does mean? I think it's like either lamb or goat or something like that. Mm. Whoa. What was that? that? Oh, we've got peanuts on it. Yeah, so it's, it's in the same sauce. I don't think it tastes like that. I don't know what the taste is. I don't think I've ever had something kind of similar. It's got the same like consistency. Because of the peanut sauce, it does just taste like kind of satay, but it's just a bit stringier. It's all right. I think it was more expensive than chicken is anyway. And I think I'd just prefer to get chicken satay anyway. Time for Rotty John. Look at the size of this bad boy. Whoa, a bit soggy. Oh, now I've seen it cut up. I remember having it. So this is a bit like a Subway, isn't it? You know, 
Still here, got rid so, of the mutton. From what I can tell, the way they make roti john is they get a really long bread roll, slice it down the middle, and then basically like put it on a grill. They have like egg in it and cook it on the egg. So this is just a plain one with chicken. It's certainly not plain. I just want to point it out. It's got a lot going on in it. Very spicy. Has it got cabbage in it maybe? Oh, crunchy to it. I really like the sauce. It's like chilli, but I think it's mixed with something else. I think it's maybe mixed with mayonnaise or something. The chicken on the inside, we can't really tell that it's there, but it just has that faint taste of chicken. But I think if you got the crispy chicken one, it probably would be a lot better. The photos that I have were like visible chunks of it. It's very sloppy. Would definitely be better to be eaten as soon as you've got it. This is kind of like a subway on steroids. Mm -hmm. Absolutely giant and just packed with stuff. There's so much. There's no way you'd be able to eat a whole one. Oh, I think I could. But... No, you couldn't. You didn't eat that one in Epo. I think that would be one hell of a hearty lunch. Right, there is no way we're going to be able to finish this right now. But I think what we can do is maybe put it in the oven to heat it up tomorrow. Like crisp mm, up a bit. So we've got nasi caribou. Oh, oh that. wow. That is beautiful. Pretty nicely presented, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like you've got the blue rice, you've got the chicken. You've got like fish, fish crackers here as well. This looks like it might even be chicken floss. It's a bit like nasi lemak, but a lot more to it. I don't want to ruin it. It's too pretty. Oh my goodness, there's so much here. Mm. That rice. Is it kind of like nasi lemak rice? Yeah, and the coconut. I'm going to try one of these things. They're soft. I think these fish crackers are meant to be crunchy, but I think because they're kind of sweated up oh, in the bag, yeah. they're I can't believe how much of this you get. This could feed both of us, I think, like, really? quite easily. In my honest opinion, I think the only thing that's letting it down is a chicken floss. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of chicken floss, but it makes it quite dry. It kind of dries your mouth out. But other than that, the flavours are really, really nice. In terms of being like quite a nicely balanced mix of flavours, it works really well. So next up is the roti jala. And the guys at the stall were so friendly. They were really, really nice explaining exactly what it was. And they asked if we had a YouTube channel. So if you're watching, shout out to you guys. Oh, there's some chicken. Yeah, there's I like... think there was potato I saw in there. It reminds me of like roti chanai sauce. You know when you get the I am one? Okay, so this is a roti jala. So as they were explaining, roti is obviously bread. And jala means net. Which... Well, they said it was like a pancake. When we were watching them make it, you can see it's like batter that they kind of spiral out of the yeah. bottle. Give a good old dunk in that chicken's curry. Yeah, it's nice. It's a bit weird because it's almost slightly sweeter than roti chanai would be, but the curry sauce is the exact same. Oh, I it's think this bit... tastes savoury. Quite chewy almost, isn't it? Mm. But I think what's nice then is the sauce gets in between mm. all the gaps in the net as it were. The thing is though, because these are, are basically pancakes, I'm just imagining what they taste like with like chocolate and banana mm -hmm. and stuff. And I can imagine them tasting so good. They're quite dense, aren't they? Which is surprising because when you see them making it, it looks like it's got loads of like gaps in the net and it sort of looks like it'd be quite light. That was nice actually, I'd get them again. Yeah, 100%. Last but not least, we've got the Bua Kerma, which is Dates. So I've never actually eaten a date before, so... My mum loves dates and I remember eating some every now and then when I was a kid. Well, if they're a typically Malaysian thing, I guess that's probably why she mm. loves them so much. Oh, it's not as sweet as I thought it'd be. It reminds me of like a big raisin, but it doesn't taste like a big raisin. No. It looks like a big raisin. Yeah, it's a very like chewy, fibrous texture. Mm. And they're actually really good, I think, if you have constipation. <laughs> These make you go like... No one's business, I'm pretty sure. I'm thinking they're a bit like figs. I've never had a fig on its own. I've had a fig roll, but I've never had a fig. Yeah, but don't you think there's so much fig roll? Slightly, yeah. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's got like a little bit of sweetness. They're definitely better than when I had them when I was younger. But once again, not my go-to fruit. Right, we're done. We also bought some tepan felita and some quay, but you've seen us try those before, so I'm sure that you wouldn't be bothered about seeing us try those again. And if you haven't, Go and watch the video. So we're going to leave it there. We are looking forward to carrying on celebrating Ramadan over the next few weeks. If you've got any ideas of any other videos that we can film, we have got a few booked in, but anything else that you can think of, do drop us a comment and let us know. Yeah, we're loving this. We're loving taking part in the celebrations with the locals, eating all the food. Being in Malaysia at this time of year, it just feels really sort of quite special, 
doesn't it? Yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, drop us a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. We love chatting to everyone in the comments. So let us know what your thoughts are on each thing, which was your favourite out of what we tried today. And we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. See you then. Bye. Bye.